structural integrity failing. Emergency resuscitation of all personnel initiated. Exit this facility and report to production terminal Lima. Hey everybody, it's PC here, and this is Tectonica. Uh, what this is, is uh, another open world uh, building factory automation simulator, similar to uh, Satisfactory and Factorio, with uh, a few other little touches to it, but so far I've uh, been quite enjoying it. It just came out in early access, it's like really early, it's like version 0 0.1, I thought I'd check it out, and I have done a little bit of it, and I'm actually quite interested in it. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out check things out. Uh, this is actually where was it? One of these, yeah. One of these get to inspect. Yeah, just tutorial stuff. Anyway, uh, so yeah, there's uh, apparently some sort of thing going on. There's a bit of a storyline to this, but uh, this is actually the second time I've recorded this. I've had. Uh, audio issues. Uh, the only one of the differences between this and Satisfactory is the entire world is procedurally, I don't know if it's procedurally generated, but it's all voxel, so it's all completely destructible. Now, this one, as you can see, we're actually underground. Hello? Can you hear me? Your suit can transmit a voice or ID signal, but my sensors are indicating you're out there. All right, so here we are. This is where we start. So it's going to explain this as we go through the story, but basically as we progress through the game, uh, we have to repair these facilities to unlock new technology. It has uh, Subnautica sort of scan the item th thing to unlock certain things, but uh, there's also research, which we'll get into a little later. But anyways, uh, I'm actually going to... I will leave that for now. Let's go over here and follow the storyline. So I gotta repair the terminal, so I gotta get iron ore and iron copper. Okay, so yeah, uh, as you can see, that's gonna be an iron deposit right there, and then a uh, nice big co copper deposit over there. Uh, there are gonna be like little chests and stuff like that laying around where you can pick up certain items. Uh, there, there is inventory crafting. Uh, it's a different kind of crafting mechanic too. Uh, you don't actually necessarily need the components as long as you have the resources, let's say processed iron and copper ingots, then you can actually craft the recipe without having to actually craft the, craft the sub-components first. But anyways, got some more chests in here. These are research cores. This is how the research works in the game. You actually need physical objects in the game. Uh, to give you research points. If you take them out of the game, out of your world, then you lose those points and you can end up in a negative. But we'll, we'll be getting into that in a little bit. So now she wants us to make those mining rigs. Now, this is our uh, inventory here. Uh, this is where we do our crafting, our inventory over here. Uh, different things. We have nothing right now because we have no technology. We do have basic subcomponents here. But anyway, so we gotta go ahead and make a couple of these. We actually do inventory craft and we queue them up and then they end up on our hot bar. As you can see, number two. Um, I'm going to put this one over here. Uh, I'm going to also try to prepare a little bit better in this one. Uh, I did have two of these set up, but we're going to need a lot of a lot of materials, so I might actually get a proper setup here. Uh, see what I can do, and I was going to grab plant matter because that is currently our fuel source. So we go around and. Like most of these survival games, just go around spamming E, collecting everything you can, and go from there. So we're going to go ahead and dump some plant matter in there. Go do the same thing over here. And off we go. So now it's got to generate that. Uh, there's some stuff up here I'm going to go grab too, I think. Or Oh no, I need the scanner first. We gotta do a little bit of aggression, so uh, yeah, I've this I have watched. No, check this out. Now, one of the things about this one is, like you can see, on uh, it does have conveyor ports. Now, unfortunately, uh, conveyors don't actually connect directly to them. We have to use inserter arms like Factorio, which is where the similarities sort of mix in. But I think we should have enough now. And there's 15 iron ore. Run over here and grab the copper out of here. 
like so and then I go stick them in here and then we upgrade this thing and this is actually gonna give us uh, I believe a little bit more research now when you uh, this is uh, something I thought actually liked is if it requires a certain amount you can actually shift click an entire stack in there and only give you allow you to put in what you actually need and we go ahead and unlock So now you can see, if I go back in here, the upgrade cost, again, has gone up to 20 ingots and 20 copper ingots, 20 iron ingots. And then uh, I think there's one more stage after that before this thing is fully upgraded and we move on with our, our new mining gadget. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead. Uh, yeah, you can see these are the, the research cores. These are what allow us to unlock tech and we'll have to use those pretty soon here or craft them. Uh, also, uh, the number there tells you exactly how many you can craft with the amount of material you have in your personal inventory. So that's it's an interesting one. I don't know if there's like a oh, there is too. You can actually do do a like craft five, craft all, and all that stuff. But anyways, we need a scanner. So we craft this, and then we go run around scanning everything. Scan that. Oh, that scan that. And scan that. Uh, as you can see at the top there, it's uh, telling me what I pick up. So I can go over here and I can scan that. One of the three, two a smelter, two of three smelter, and a three of smelter. So I can get the smelter now. Now this is the research tree. We do have different categories here: terraforming, synthesis, logistics. No, it's not even getting there because we're still in the tutorial. But as you, if you look on the left here, I'll show different terminals that we're at. We're actually at Lima right now. Eventually. When we're at Lima, we're going to go to Victor and then so on and so forth and start unlocking more stuff as we go. Yes. Alright, so what is it telling me to do? So I need ingots. Uh, okay, so it wants th three mining drills. Let's go ahead and see what I have on me. Go ahead and make another four. Get this out of the way. And that. And that. Oh, it is giving me components back. Give me some iron ingots and, ingots and iron components. Alright, so now we'll go here and I'm going to put... Uh, oh, okay. It won't actually let you block off the conveyor port, which doesn't really make sense because the arm has to go perfectly straight out, but that's just for fuel anyway, so I don't care. And we'll do that. We'll run over here. Do, 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 do. Uh, there is suit upgrades you can get to. It is tech. It is expensive tech, unfortunately. I did not want to put that right there, did I? I guess it doesn't really matter. Alright. Now. Oh, scan some more stuff. It's almost like they expected something like this to happen. Whatever it is that happened. Oh, what was that? What was that? I just highlighted them. Anyway, uh, yeah, um, let me get grab some fuel and we'll get these things running. I'll be right back. Okay, so I do have three, three, or six of them going, three on the iron and three on the copper right now. Uh, I am going to go up here and I want to scan this. I forgot what this gives me. Kind of interesting, and there is definitely some sort of mysterious uh, story going on. Uh, but yeah, anyways, back to the research tree. Now, um, as, if you look at the icons here, it also show me that there's eight of these purple orbs. That's those orbs that you saw. Uh, it shows me how many available orbs that I have, which is only one. So I need to place seven more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and craft five, six, seven. It doesn't take long. Um, we're going to go stick them over here for now. Uh, there is something we're going to be unlocking probably in the next episode that allows us to deal with these a little bit better. But for now, this is what we have to do. We actually have to place them physically in the world. And wait for them to craft. Oh. They can't float. Smelter technology. 
Alright, so now I have placed um, seven, seven cores, so now it shows me that I have eight available. If I go ahead and activate this, it sets me back to zero. So that they're actually, those points are actually used. Now, like I said, if I remove those cores, then I start going to the negative here, and I have to replace them before I can get back into the positive to research more stuff. And then, of course, we've got logistics here. Eventually, we'll get into inserters and conveyors and stuff like that. Okay, so now we get into smelter, and again, this is what I was talking about. Um, it, it uses 10, if you have 10 limestone or 8 copper components, it takes 5 seconds. If you don't have the copper components, it'll take a little bit more of the copper ingots and take a little more than twice as long. So that's one of those things. Now, in my testing, it seems like one, uh, it works out to like 1 to 1. So I'm going to make 6 of these. Because I want to, like I said, I want to get this all set up because I've seen the cost of Victor. And it's, <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, it's also got an interesting power mechanic I'm getting into, which we'll, I haven't actually explored yet. Like, basically, I've gone. Well, that's what I'm waiting for. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead and place them right here. Because uh, that's not what I want to do. Alright. I'll do that. Uh, this is also another little feature that you have is if you have your hotbar selected, let's say I have the smelter right now and I want to sort of get that off sort of my hand back to, you know what I mean, but I want to un unequip it. If I hit Q, it hides a, the toolbar and I bring it, hit Q again, it brings it back up to the same item that I had there. So that's cool. So now I'm going to do the same thing over here. This is kind of why I wanted to have it spaced out properly just sort of uniform but do that and that and that uh, that's for now and have to do manual insertion yeah that seems a little off and I also do have to add fuel so let me get this done and I will be right back Yeah, I just missed her, and she was just explained exactly what I did. I had collected about 3,000 plant matter. I got these things all fueled up, and for the time being, you're going to manually move these over because I need to get the, the ingots anyways. Now, I will be getting all these set up with uh, inserter arms pretty quick here. As you can see, the machines only hold a certain amount. Uh, it does seem overkill, but, you know, if you seem satisfactory, this is... This is probably going to be needed. Uh, like I said, I've seen the first stage of Victor, so I know what what we're going to need. Uh, what I might do, too, is once we end up moving over there, because we're going to be setting up over at the next place, I think, because I might actually start working on porting these over with conveyors. Uh, but anyways, so let's go ahead and get our ingots now. We should be good to go. Easy. Very easy. I'll grab 30 out of here because I'm gonna need more stuff anyways. And then we'll scoot over here and then we should be able to get some more technology going. Or more research. Oh. And I think the next stage here will unlock logistics. And up we go and iron copper. There we go. She's gonna say something, I think. But anyway, now this is gonna be the final stage here. We got 30 iron ingots, 30 copper ingots, 45 conveyor belts, four inserters, and two containers. New technology and crafting schematics available. Which means more crafting cores, or more research cores, gonna make. Uh, as you can see in here, this is one of the ones that I have to actually scan to find. I have so far, I've seen, found like one of them, but that's about it. Uh, under the transportation, we have suit speed. Uh, did that actually unlock that? No, it didn't. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll get the terraforming pretty quick here. I thought I got conveyors. I'm supposed to even conveyors. Or did I already unlock them for me? Oh, there they are. Okay, so I need two containers, four inserters. Uh, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to actually get these uh, set up with conveyors and inserters just so I can start um, stockpiling this stuff. And I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, just about done. There we go. That should be the last bit. So this side is slowly working its way through. 
Um, I do have double inserts going from the, the mining drill to the smelter and then a single coming out from the smelter to the conveyor. From what I've seen in the past or previously, the, that seems to work out uh, good. So anyways, let's go ahead and grab that. We'll run over here. Oh, hit the right button for run. It's uh, shift, not control. And then as you can see, I got the same thing over here. Now I do have to make more conveyors. So I can actually show you uh the way the conveyors work in this and i should do like this so as you can see you get the arrow pointing the direction the conveyor is going to travel uh you click once and it gets you sort of like a, a mapping area you go once and then if you uh, go to here and i rotate then it'll continue the conveyor again and if i rotate again then i can go like that so you can actually predefine your entire path before you actually place the first conveyor so you can sort of get routing planned out and then when you're all done you just click, uh, click twice on your endpoint and it builds it so that was actually pretty easy and then of course Q brings you back stages so you can redo your pass which is uh, pretty good to be honest and I'll take that and then we'll go over here now I have to make we've got the conveyors I gotta make just gotta make that and then we're good to go oh wait I need uh, ingots too yes I do all right, I'll run over here, grab ingots out of here, and grab ingots from the other end. And believe me, this is actually more efficient than what I had before. Yes, at least I'm going through here. Three here. I will have to see how the power situation works if we keep going with plant matter or if we go into a different power source. I know there is. Uh, there's going to be some sort of generator and a power floor that we get into and probably going to be in the next episode. But anyways, oh yeah, I forgot to do this. And get these little things you got to scan too. Tool belt two, suit sp speed two. Uh, the tool belt just gives me extra hotbar rows and that's about it. Did I have one in here? No. I don't think so. Uh, that was it. And with that, let's grab our iron. And I think I might actually be able to upgrade this now. Let's get out of here. And iron, copper, conveyor, container, and inserter upgrade. Fully upgraded. Ding. Uh, there is a map. I don't I haven't really seen explored how detailed it is. If I bring that up, so at first I thought it was just an overhead view, but you can actually rotate. It's a 3D isometric view that you can rotate. Uh, I'm guessing it shows machines and stuff like that. I haven't, like I said, I haven't really explored it too much. But what is that? Oh, that was my starting area. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Anyway, let's go hit the beacon. Not the left side, you think. This is definitely some good tech too. Once we get into it, uh, that actually reminds me. It was another. You know, there's like two bunkers around here. That's uh, we're actually going to the one she's pointing at, which was over here. But I thought there was something else too. There's another one. But yeah, just around the corner here, we got a little dig in here. You can't actually get into this until she. I think I've heard that three or four times now, and I just understood it all, and you'll see in a moment. There she is. What? You've never seen someone stuck inside an alien cube next to their own dead body before? Whatever I was trying to do here, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it didn't work out. 
Hopefully, it was worth a shot. Let's go. All right. Nothing like carrying your friend in your pocket, right? Okay. Let's get out. And this is what I don't like is you got these little story areas. It's not letting you run, as you can hear by me smashing my shift key trying to run to get out of here. But anyways, and now we go get to unlock some pretty interesting tech. Stop. Hammer time. Fragment in that cage the stairs before we go. We'll need that tech to get out of the sector. No, I don't know if you can actually do anything with the cube. Uh, we'll find out eventually. Take that. We'll take that. And whatever's in here. Ooh, research course. Now we have a Zimol. As soon as I get out of here. I feel like I'm over encumbered. There we go. Now I can run. Uh, oh, yeah, this way. Check the radio console again and see if the beacon that adds to your HUD gives us a clear path home. It'll give us a path. It won't be a clear one, though. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Production terminal, Victor. Breaker, this is the time to activate the mole in your tech tree and build one. We won't be able to control Deceptor Victor without it. All right. So we go in, oh, that's not the tech tree. Tech tree, we go to terraforming and we get the mole. Now I need seven research cores for that. Uh, I did find six, so I just have to make one more, even though I can make 26. But anyway, let's go add these to the pile. And uh, we can actually just leave them here. It'd be no big deal. Nobody's going to steal them. I'm just going to spam them because it's going to be the last time I replaced them here anyways. Okay, and right button, of course. Task inbound. Mole. Manipulates terrain for traversal and composition of industrial construction sites. Okay, now we get into the fun thing. There's actually upgrades for this thing too. I haven't actually gotten beyond this point, so we are going to find out. Okay, off we go, actually, before we go, we'll take a little bit of iron and copper with us, because we're going to need it. We will find some stuff there, but, and there we go, so, uh, let's dig. Uh, as far as I know, you can't actually use this to mine, because it's actually a black hole gun. We're gonna go over here. This is actually a little storyline, a story area. You get to here, and you won't let you mine through it with the pickaxe. It tells you you need a better tool for it. This mall is not authorized to destroy resources, critical infrastructure, or protected environmental areas. So, in other words, no oopsie moments. I never got the chance to thank you for getting me out of that facility. I appreciate it. And as you can see, there is an overheat timer. Now, if you hit that overheat, then you have to wait. Quite the area too. And there's uh, going to be a flatten uh, option too, so it's, I think you can get upgrades similar to what you, there is in like Astroneer, how they have like the the mods you can get for the the, the multi tool. And let that cool down. You know, I would almost expect the animation to be a lot faster for the amount of power this is doing to this. It's almost like it's a handheld particle accelerator. Definitely something that belongs in Quake or Doom. And we are almost through. And I overheated. See, so yeah, I can try to go, but it just doesn't do anything. Good, at least it doesn't blow up in your hand. Apparently I had really good uh, voxel, voxel generation too, so when you're deforming the land that you actually get nice smooth contours and proper uh, transitions. Come on. And we are through. Now as far as I know there is actually no um, survive or no 
hostile creatures. I think it's supposed to be uh, sort of a peaceful mode game. I never actually scanned these before. What is it? Dawn Strand. What can I do with it? Nothing. All right. And here we are at Victor. I don't understand. A factory the size of a city is supposed to be here. It was right here. I know it was. Where is everybody? All right, here we are. This is going to be the, our next stage, and this is where everything moves on. Uh, what was that exclamation point? Was it here? Yeah, it is. I got to go up to the terminal. There we go. 500 iron, 500 copper to get to the next stage. If we can repair it, we might be able to decipher where those facilities are located. Our people are out there, just like we were. I wouldn't ask you to rebuild this sector for the expedition, but I will ask you to do it for them. The faster we get on these signal and repair objectives, the better our chances of finding them will be. Have a look at some of the new stuff on the tech tree. Keep your eyes out for fragments, and let's get to work. Deciphering this first signal by building power flows looks simple enough. I'm sure it won't be that many. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so now we got a different question. Uh, if we look around, if we look in these chests, we do actually get a power floor. Now, as far as I can tell, this just basically makes a power grid on the floor. You hook up generators to it, and any machines that are connected to this power floor actually get power. Uh, there's also a core composer. Uh, this is something that allows you to place cores automatically so you don't have to manually place them i haven't actually used it yet uh, we will walk, look into that in the next episode though because i think it's a good time to call it and in here i got oh conveyors inserters and some chests or uh yeah containers we'll go ahead and scan this whatever that is oh the flatten tool cool we got that so with that, I think we're going to call this one here. Uh, next episode, we're going to start getting things up and running here. I do have some stuff I can uh, scan over here. There's going to be an assembler, which uh, is for making like the components and stuff like that. But uh, we'll look at that the next one. Anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Later.